Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this mini mist fan from iWater. Now this is a well-known and respected brand here in the Philippines, although I think this might be a generic item that they've simply put their brand name on, because I have seen this being sold with different brand names. Now of course the fan part of this is very obvious. You just turn it on and it's a regular fan. But the specialty of this is that it has a supersonic atomizer here, which creates a nice mist, and if I turn that on you should be able to hopefully see this on camera. And if I was to hold my hand there, I would eventually see drops of water coming off my hand. And I believe that this is atomizing water at around 3 to 5 milliliters an hour. And here's the container of water underneath that basically just screws on, and I can show you that. There's the water. Here's the kind of wick which soaks up the water and then it comes out this atomizer unit. Now, the actual unit itself, this little bit here, I've seen those on eBay for around one or two dollars, so they're very easy and very cheap to replace, if ever it wears out or breaks. Now, inside the box, you get the unit itself, and you get a pretty long USB cable, but what you don't get is the power brick to charge it from. Now, this is from a cell phone, and you can use any cell phone charger to do this, basically, because this only consumes 2.5 watts, so it's very low power, and you can just run it straight from there if I turn on the fan, like that. Alternatively, instead of running it from a power adapter, you can run it from a power bank. Now this is very useful, for example, if there's a brownout, because you can still have a fan, and you can have the mist, which adds extra cooling. So you can see that's just running from my power bank. Now you might see some water here on the table. There's no leak, uh, basically it's just where I set it up earlier, I spilled some water, and unfortunately there's still some there. Now at 2.5 watts or less, the fan itself isn't that powerful. There are many more USB fans out there which are more powerful than this. So what it really comes down to, whether this is worth the money, which is 999 peso, give or take, is the mist. Is it worth the money? And I would say yes, you can definitely feel the difference. For instance, when you come out of the shower and then stand in front of a fan, you feel much colder, right? And this is the same principle. The water is atomized, ends up on your skin, the fan blows over it and it helps to cool you down. But the only problem is you have to be very close to this. For example, if I put my hand here, I could feel the water drops and eventually they will build up and I can feel that it's much cooler. But if I was to put my hand over here, for example, pretty much none of that water really makes it that far. So it does work, but you really have to be like right on top of it. So this would only be suitable for one person, and it would only be suitable if you literally put your skin right next to this within a few inches. So if you were in a brownout, I would definitely prefer this over a regular fan, but I would put my head like right here so that I can get the drops of water on my face and then get the fan blowing over me. So does it work? Yes, it does work, but it's so low power that you have to be right next to it. That's the only downside. Now let's use my USB watt meter to measure how much power this consumes. If I put on just the fan and then zoom in on the watt meter, you can see that we're consuming around 1.4 watts. If I turn on the mist, you can hear that the fan does slow down and then we're consuming around 2.7 watts. Now they state this is 2.5 watts, but you know, it's so little difference that I think that's fine. My concern is that when you turn on the misting element, you can actually hear the fan slow down and you can feel it, it slow down. And I wonder if they would have been better off just drawing more power so that the fan could be more powerful and we could perhaps create more mist. And you know, it's still so little power, it's 2.7 watts. They probably could have gone up to five watts and I don't think it would have been much of a problem. For example, if they'd have put two of the misting elements here, one here, one here, and then a slightly more powerful fan, this whole thing would be like really good. I would say, yeah, for sure, go and buy it. But as it is now, I would say if you've got money to spend, like if you've got money in your pocket and you want to, you know, you want to get rid of it, okay, this is good. It's better than a normal fan. It definitely does cool you down a lot better. Um, especially if you're very close. So if you've got the money, sure, it's okay. But I wouldn't rush out to buy one, it's not that good. But if you've got the money, then yes, it is an upgrade from a regular fan because that mist of water really does help to cool you down. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.